What's going on YouTube? Geosyn right here. So in today's video we have great news for those of you on iOS 17.0 and lower if you want to jailbreak. The Safari WebKit exploit has been released by a security researcher and this one is an important piece towards a Safari jailbreak for iOS 16.0 all the way up to 17. So let's get into that. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So unexpectedly a couple of hours ago this developer POSIX posted this, quote, I have written a POC or proof of concept and brief explanation for CVE 2023-41993 WebKit JSC bug fixed at iOS 17.0.1. So what they casually released in here is a Safari WebKit vulnerability, which if you take a look in here on GitHub, this is what this is supposed to do. This gives you read and write primitive to Safari web content process. So this is an important part for a jailbreak based in Safari, like jailbreak me and stuff like that. So in theory, you can actually chain this with kernel exploits and other stages and that would give you a proper Safari based jailbreak. Sure it's not possible to jailbreak only with this particular vulnerability, this is not a kernel exploit, however this would allow you to start the jailbreak process directly from Safari instead of installing an application that would expire every 7 days and pressing jailbreak in that application and waiting for it. You would just navigate to a website, press jailbreak on that website and your device is jailbroken thanks to this CVE. So yes it is in here that you get read and write primitive to Safari web content process Process, but to actually make it useful you need to chain it with other components. Exactly what I said. You need to chain it with a kernel exploit, maybe a sandbox escape, maybe more. But this is an important first step. Now this was patched in iOS 17.0.1, which is no longer signed, which means that this works on iOS 17.0, 16.6.1, 16.6, all the way down to maybe even iOS 15, maybe iOS 16.0. But this vulnerability should work on iOS 16 as well, but also 17.0. So if you didn't update from 17.0, you should be able to use this in the future. Now I don't know if anything important will come out of it but this is an important vulnerability, a WebKit vulnerability, complete with the proper code. It's not just a simple blog post, it also contains a proof of concept that you can run on your device and see if the vulnerability works for you. So that's actually quite interesting. I wonder if anybody will do anything useful with this but now we do have a WebKit vulnerability even for iOS 17 so things are looking quite good. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow. Till the next time subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.